This is good evening to all. This evening, I will do a video of the Raleigh Adams Airport in Christchurch, which is to the south of the island. Starting from the old property, looking down towards the oil tanks, which belong to the Barbados National Oil Company. The trucks for salt and we go for the salt and rubies, go for their gas to take to their respective gas stations. So this is the road to the airport. Actually, we're coming from the south coast, and these are the oil tanks here. You can see the civil industrial estate. You can even see the jet blue plane here on the runway. Boat to take off. I'm walking up towards the airport now. So this is the road to the Brownlee Adams International Airport. This, is the, this was the original road to the airport prior to the construction of the ABC Highway. So this is the road that you will use to get to the airport if you are coming from Oystings, Hastings, Worthing, St. Lawrence Gap, or anywhere on the south coast. This was the road everyone had to use to get to the airport before there was any ABC highway. But now the highway is more convenient now for motorists to get to the airport. The highway was the plan of Barbados' second Prime Minister, Tom Adams, who wanted the highway to be built so that motorists can have easy access to industrial estates and to the airport itself. More so than having to use the long haul route. This is the ABC highway, I'm part of the highway behind here. Back down to Corbley. You know Corbley. So the ABC Highway started from started in the they started construction in the mid 80s, early to mid 80s, and it was completed by 1989. But Tom Adams did not live to see the highway completed. Tom Adams died four years before the highway was completed. Tom Adams died in 1985 and the highway was completed by 1989. So, as I said before, Tom Adams, the ABC highway was Tom Adams' vision for motorists to get to the airport faster than having to use the South Coast Road. So, Tom Adams invented the ABC highway and the Spring Garden highway both in the 80s, but he lived to see the highway, the Spring Garden Highway completed. The Spring Garden Highway is the one that runs out of town, headed towards the west coast, where Brandon's Beach is, and Brighton Beach. That is Spring Garden Highway, and the, which is now named the Mighty Griner Highway, named after one of our Calypsonians, the Mighty Griner. Spring Garden Highway was renamed after him. Heading towards the airport, the Grand Adams International Airport, the, uh, the generators for the Bob Rest, the power company. Here, definitely something here, I'm not sure what it is. See the jet blue plane taking off again. So the Grand Adams International Airport is Barbados' it's only port of entry by right here. This is all the ABC Highway here. China section. So as I said before, the ABC Highway 
was invented in the mid 80s. But Tom Adams did not live to see the highway completed, even though it was his vision. He died in 1985, and the highway was completed by 1989. Another view of the highway from here. I'm in the parish of Christ Church, which is the southernmost parish on the island. This is the Seabed Industrial Estate with the Barbados Agricultural Development and Management Corporation, Marketing Corporation is here in this building. And I also have the main office down the road here at the former Fairy Valley Plantation House as well. Most of the road of the ABC Highway runs on was not originally road. It was house and bush and rocks and they had to cut down bush and the rocks to make provision for the highway. Here would be the basically the access route to the ABC highway. For those most people that come from the industrial estate, we use this road to get to the ABC highway. And straight would be to the airport. So this is the access route to the ABC highway. So most people that work in the industrial estate will use the ABC highway. Like people that work in here or whatever that want to get back on the highway will use this. It goes that road, that road. The back of the wire is the ABC Highway. I'll show you guys where the old airport used to be, the old airport site, when it was the Seabell Airport, before renaming the Grand Adams International Airport. About a bridge they left, about a bridge they left on power generators.
This is the Steven Industrial Estate behind here. Now going up to where the old airport was. When it was the Grand Yard, when it was the Sea Rail Airport. So our airport moved to its present location on the 6th of October 1976. That is the same day that Tom Adams assumed office as Prime Minister. Barbados' second Prime Minister after he succeeded our borough. And that is the same day that the Cubana Airlines came crashing down just off the west coast of Barbados at Pins Bay in St. James. Cubana Airlines came crashing down just off the west coast at the end bit in St. James, killing everyone that was on board the flight. And that is the same day that the, at the airport moved from this site and moved to its present location. Where the old airport was when it was the Sea Rail Airport. The old airport was here. I think a postal service is now in here or something. The airport was here. Then there was the Sea Rail Airport. You can see the control tower for the airport. You can see the tarmac for the planes. And you can even see the Virgin Atlantic plane part on the tarmac as well. And this is our modern day Granny Adams International Airport. So this is where our airport was to be. Airport. I hear people saying that they used to, they, they, it was a time when you can just wave at your family going off on the, on the plane, taking off. But since this new airport now, they have restrictions now, you can't see them after a certain point. You can't really see them boarding the plane. But years ago, you could have watched your family take off in the plane and wave at them. Now approaching St. Bartholomew's Anglican Church. This is the church hall here. St. Bartholomew's Church Hall. And the church cemetery here. The control tower for the airport in the background. Bartholomew's Anglican Episcopal Church situated on the outside of the airport exit. Back to the old airport road. So this is St. Bartholomew's Anglican Church. There's about 1830. St. Bartholomew's Church. This is the plaque here. This plaque was erected on the occasion of the rededication of this church on Saturday, April 30th, 2016, by His Grace. <coughs> by His Grace, John Wallace Dunlop Holder, Archbishop of, uh, Bishop of Barbados. And it was done under the rector Julian Crawford, who was the rector of this church at the time. The 
St. Bartholomew's Anglican Church, which dates back to 1830. And then we're going back to the Port Road, Autonomous Church was established in 1830. Saw gas station here, which moved to this location in 2020 to replace the other gas station that was up the road from the airport. And this is the Tom Adams on the boat, where the ABC highway commences, where that van is going, is where the highway begins. So the highway starts on by the airport in the south and ends at University of the West Indies, at KFA campus, which is to the west. So it runs from south to west. Also sponsored by the West Indian Biscuit Company, which is the manufacturer of Shirley Biscuits and so on. This place is Brown Adams Airport, right here, and the top of the control tower for the airport in the background. So, this is our one port entry right here. Uh, this is the ABC Highway here, where the highway begins. Come back up towards the ABC Highway. gas station here.
and over here is Port Few. Ten Quay Search. Port Few and China Arts Village. So our airport can be referred as BGI, GIA, Grand Island International Airport. That's basically it. And our airport offers direct flights to destinations in the Eastern Caribbean, Central America, United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and South America and Central America. How about your port here? Grand Fleet Adams International Airport. Church. And this is Port Field Village, and you can see the big white well over here that. Port Field and China Village over here. So this is our airport. Next to the airport is the Barbados Concord Experience, where the Concord plane is now house, since it no longer operates. The Concord is now placed here at the Concord Experience, which is right next to the airport. Go out to the Adams Airport, come back down to the airport road. Location on the 6th of October 1976. So, technically, so what's it now? 